So in this video, I'm going to talk about keratinocytes and essentially the life cycle of keratinocytes. So to summarize what we learned already, keratinocytes, they're produced deep in the epidermis by stem cells, and more specifically, they're produced in the stratum bacillae, so the lowest layer, or the layer that's closest to the dermis. Now what happens is, as new keratinocytes are made, the new keratinocytes push the older ones towards the surface. And so once a keratinocyte moves more than two or three cells away from the dermis, mitosis stops. And mitosis by stem cells require oxygen and nutrients, and they can only get that deep in the epidermis close to the dermis. And then once the keratinocytes move up a bit, you have these vesicles that release lipids and a mixture that spreads out over the cell surface and waterproofs the cells. And so what forms is called an epidermal water barrier, and it forms on top of the stratum spinosum that prevents dehydration and helps you just prevent water loss. And so the stratum spinosum is right over there. And so it's this giant layer right there. And so essentially, this water barrier cuts off nutrients to the cells above. So the stratum corneum and all of these layers up here, the nutrients are cut off. And so as a result, the cells above the barrier over here, the epidermal water barrier, die because they are cut off from the nutrients. And so this barrier consists of lipids, and it has tight junctions between the keratinocytes, as well as a thick layer of insoluble protein on the inner surface of the keratinocytes plasma membrane. And so one other thing to remember are desmosomes that we talked about earlier. And although desmosomes don't directly contribute to the barrier, it plays an important role. So it indirectly contributes by helping hold the cells together. And so one last thing I wanna mention, the reason why I'm talking about keratinocytes and why they're so important is that they are the predominant cell type in the epidermis. So they make up most of the epidermis and in fact, they make up about 90% of the cells. And so that pretty much sums it up for keratinocytes. And so thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends.